Hey everybody, it's Mucha Marapa from Matrix Global Media and as part of Facebook Timeline Marketing just want to show you a little uh, trick that I use to um, get some pretty attractive looking thumbnail applications. Now when we look at these thumbnail applications um, and I've said many many times these are ultimately the making or breaking of your timeline uh, strategy because as you can see you can put a number of things on uh, these tabs as you can um, gather I've got a starter package which is something for sale uh, a deluxe package this is the timeline design this is where we do bespoke designs for clients this is a landing page but you know, the reason why I want to really uh, narrow down on this is just a little trick that I use to often just get a nice looking uh, thumbnail uh, visual in there now uh, these uh, dimensions are up one 111 by 74 so anytime you have them designed you can go to a designer you can do them yourself uh, this is something that I uh, have been doing for a while and it's worked really nicely for me okay so I have just uh, launched a uh, my blueprint my timeline management blueprint which is a work guide with video and all these other great things just showing you how to sort of manage effectively a timeline on a day-to-day -day basis so what I want to do is I want to start promoting this on some of my other uh, fan pages. Uh, I've got Timeline Design, um, I've got Timeline Dimensions, um, I have Timeline Review, okay, and of course I've got Timeline Marketing and Matrix Global Media. So what I want to do is just go ahead and put something in this area here. Okay. Now, as you probably gather, any time you put an image in um, your status update it will show in this photos area the last thing that you posted always shows here so I want to now go ahead and promote my um, uh, audio program there's a free audio program to sort of launch uh, the blueprint itself so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say free audio lesson to celebrate blueprint the new man timeline management blueprint I better go blueprint okay now I'm gonna put a link on here afterwards but just for the sake of this running smoothly now I go here I want to go ahead and add the image so I just go down here and that's it there and you can actually see I put a um, uh, 404 by 404 so this is going to be a pin post I'm going to put this here and then pin it to the top for want of a better word so I go ahead and post that now and it's just going to show up in a moment you'll see here I will get the actual link so I can put that in but this is just for the sake of this video okay so as you can see here it is fits nicely in there um, I should have got a link I'll do that after this video has finished but this is where it gets really interesting now okay you have a look here and you see uh, the photo of my previous post I believe it was me welcoming somebody yeah it was welcoming Bernique over to timeline design okay so all we do is we go ahead and we refresh the page and you can see now here is the photo showing in the thumbnail now what I actually want to do is I want to create a landing page here for that so all I'm gonna do is I just make the page a little bit larger okay and then I go ahead and I use my trusty Jing Pro I come all the way down here now you can see on the you can see here where it's just adjusting its size okay because I, it needs to be 111 by 74 Okay, so I move it a little closer. Now you see that's too big. So the, again, as I as I've often said, there's a bit of trial and error with this. Um, I'll make the page a bit smaller. There we go. Let's do one more for good measure. Okay. All right. So we bring this down here, and again over here. So as you can see, I'm just adjusting this page, and you'll see. I'm just working out where it can be 11174 
111 and then I move this up here 79, 74 okay so I go ahead and save that you can see that there and I'm just going to put that on the, the desktop and I'll go 111 times 74 alright so now I want to actually go ahead and change it so I will I've got this one that says keep in touch now you just put the, uh, the, the cursor over that pencil looking thing there okay actually let me make let me send this back up to the normal size right and you see where it says edit settings okay so you just click on the edit settings now that's the wording there I don't think I can move this let me just um, so that's where it said keep in touch so now I'm just gonna go free audio tips okay and I also want to go ahead and change the image alright so I go change now it's going to ask me where I change this from. I choose the file. If you remember, I saved it on my desktop as 111 times 74. There it is, there. And I'm going to just go over to here now. And I go save. OK. And there you go. Now I just want to move this up so, so folks can see it so I'm just going to move it I will probably switch it with the deluxe package so we go here change it with the deluxe package and there you go close this up and you can see listen is it as wonderfully sharp and sassy as if I took it to a graphic designer no it's not does it do the job it does the job plenty and particularly I mean this was a pretty quick video as far as me running back and forth but if you take the time to get the right size of your screen as you uh, narrow it and so on and so forth you can really get something that looks good here so all you have to do just to recap is go ahead and put an image in here whichever image then that will give you a look you will see how it looks actually in here then go ahead um, and get some screen capture software I use Jing and just map it out at 111 by 74 and you can go ahead and put it in there and now all I need to do is just go ahead and formulate my landing page so I hope that helped you it's uh, uh, something that I often do that enables me to sort of really um, uh, put some decent looking thumbnails in here that more than plenty do the job because the whole um, goal that I have here is for someone to then click on here and of course I'll have the opt-in form on there as well so until next time thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to speaking to you again very very soon